It's a race across a continent, and the winner will be decided not only by bright minds, but by a bright star more than a million kilometers away. The annual North American Solar Car Race began this morning in the city of Plano, Texas, and it will end 4,000 kilometers away in Calgary. In between, teams of university students from North America and Europe will try to prove you don't need gas to go the distance. CTV's Sneha Kulkarni reports. Outside the Plano Center, teams scrambled to prepare. I am uh, taping up the bottom of the car to prevent any air from getting in. Students used creative methods to get their futuristic cars road ready. The hand-built cars are fueled by the sun. Some are plated with over 2,200 solar cells and can cost up to a million dollars to build. Car is worth a lot. We spent a lot of time on it. Now the heart's going a little bit quicker now. Um, now that we're actually here and we're ready to leave. Four Canadian schools are among the 15 teams competing in the international road race. A win could mean a lot for the homecoming team. Yeah, we've put a lot of time into this and we've had a lot of setbacks and especially the electrical team really seems to have created miracles again and made everything work. So I'm going to be really excited just to cross the start line and get going. Three, two, one, go. Hundreds of residents from the Dallas area lined the road to kick off the event. Many wondered if sunshine could one day fuel their own cars. Uh, with what's going on in the economy today uh, with the oil, um, there's so much research and development has to go in to this technology because sooner or later this is what we're going to be driving in some form or fashion. On the open road there was plenty of attention from fellow drivers as the leaders of the pack zipped past at 100 kilometers an hour. Speed alone won't win this race. Drivers will have to battle the elements, traffic, even road conditions as they make the 4,000 kilometer journey. By the afternoon, rain and dark clouds blew through Oklahoma, bringing some of the sun-powered vehicles to a crawl. This is just uh, like a precursor. It's like a warm-up. And the sprints and all that will happen once we get into Canada and we start going across the Trans-Canadian Highway. But reaching the finish line is just part of the race. The real test is the chance to show just how far the power of the sun can take you. Sneha Cole Carney, CTV News, McAllister, Oklahoma.